friends and welcome. I hope you're well. Right now I'm gearing up for a big organization day. I'm at the stage of pregnancy right now that I feel like is almost pre-nesting. So I want to start doing things to get ready for our baby to arrive, like setting up the nursery, getting everything sorted, all of that. But there's just still so much that I need to get done before I can even start on that. That's what I want to focus on today. This is the room that's going to be turning into the nursery. And as you can see, it is just an absolute mess. So I want to focus on organizing, tidying that up, as well as probably the biggest thing that I want to do today, tackling this closet because it is just a disaster. That's going to be our main focus for today. I want to spend some dedicated time decluttering and organizing this space, kind of giving ourselves a blank slate. And then also I have a lot of work stuff in this closet that I want to move over to our bedroom, which I think is just going to be the new home for where I keep those things. Might change down the road, but right now I'm thinking that's where it makes the most sense. So why don't we start with just doing a little tidy up of this space here. We can make our way to the closet and I'll talk through more of my plan when we get there. Oh, and I have no idea if we'll get to it because I just don't know how long this space is going to take. But if we have time, there are a few other spaces in our home that are a bit messy right now that I'd love to touch up. So I'd love to give our bedroom closet a bit of attention as well as some of the drawers in our kitchen cabinets. But that's kind of an if we have time sort of thing. I want to start here first because that is definitely where kind of the biggest mess is right now. It's the biggest thing that's holding me back from being able to like properly feel like I can prepare for our baby to come. Not that there's a huge rush. I am only 28 weeks right now, but I really feel like nesting is hitting. The room itself is now mostly clean with the exception of course of the larger pieces of furniture. We have the unbuilt crib behind me and then also I did come across some postpartum and baby things that I've been given. So those are actually going to be staying in this room long term so I've just piled them up in a corner and hopefully as we create space in the closet today we can just shift them over there. For now I've just got them all right there. So now let's spend some time tackling this closet and this space is just a real mixture of things. In this corner, we actually have quite a number of things for the baby. So want to kind of create space for that. I also have a whole bunch of work stuff here in these shelves, some books that probably just need to be put away. Although I might want to declutter a couple of them. I think that's a bag of trash, but I need to double check. There probably is some more trash in here that I could go through as well. And then we have some guest things and wrapping paper supplies. I think those are going to move to Christopher's office. So how do I want to tackle this? I feel like let's start with the books, the trash, some of the obvious stuff that I know where it goes first. And then we can start making our way through some of the harder things. Sometimes you come across a space that's just so overwhelming that it's really hard to know where to start with it and so I always like just trying to identify like what is the easiest thing that I can do to improve this space go from there and just kind of start with the easy things work my way to the hard things I find it a bit more manageable that way starting to take shape in here. It's beginning to feel a bit less overwhelming. 
So what I want to do now is to spend some time putting things back where they belong. And in a lot of cases, the things in here actually just belong in other spots in this closet. So like this hard drive, for example, just belongs down here with my other hard drives. But there are also a lot of things too that belong in entirely separate rooms in our house. So I want to spend some time just kind of returning our items to their home then we can reassess and see where we're at. This closet is now in so much better shape. Basically feels back to normal. Got all my work things back where they belong, art supplies in their spot. I tidied up the little baby things just to fit in this little area. So now I feel like we're finally at the place where I can begin doing what I was initially wanting to with this closet. We can start moving all of my work supplies over to the bedroom. Then I think my art supplies and all of our guest sheets, things like that are going to move over to Christopher's office. Then we can put all the baby things that we have piled in the corner over there back here in the closet where I think I want them to live as we go through the process of transforming this room into a nursery. So let's start with moving the work stuff over. I have some things along the side right here, in this cubby, these two cubbies, the hard drives here, and then also this case up here. I think that this is actually going to work out perfectly. I've been wondering for quite some time what to do with this dresser. I feel like storing my work stuff in here is just going to make the most sense. I actually do a lot of filming in here. I work from this space fairly often. It's also right beside the living room, which is where I do the majority of my work. And so, yeah, I feel like this just feels like a natural fit. I'm actually pretty excited because I feel like this will give me the opportunity to further organize everything too. I've just been piling everything into this large bin, having to rummage around anytime I need something. The other day I was at Target and found a whole bunch of different little bins and drawer organizers. So I think this will be a great chance for me just to be able to kind of add in some organization to all of my work supplies. I've got one bin here, but let's bring everything else over now and start organizing. My work basket is empty and everything is now organized and in these drawers. Really happy with how it came out. Let me show you kind of how I have it all set up. So first in this drawer here, I have all of my cameras, the battery chargers. I didn't want to put too much in this one. That way it would be super easy just to go in and grab whichever camera it was that I needed. And in this drawer here, I have all of my hard drives, which contain backups of all of my footage. And I put little labels on them to kind of be able to tell at a glance just what year I was grabbing from because I have the actual hard drives themselves labeled, not the cases. So that way it'll be really easy to see. I also have a couple smaller tripods that I decided to keep back there. And then in this drawer, I just have some of like the carrying cases. This is the case for my tripod. 
GoPro accessories, things like that. And this is another just super useful one. So I've got some little adapters for when we travel, my microphones in here, some bits that go with my lenses. Again, and actually, let's keep both of the microphones in one place, that makes more sense. And just some other lenses, accessories, things like that. And then I think this is the last drawer I'm using. And again, this is just carrying cases uh, in case I'm traveling and need to bring my lights or some of my larger equipment with me. Of course, anytime you do kind of a larger organizational swap like this, sometimes it does take a bit of time just to get things settled, figure out where you like them. So things might shift around a little bit, but overall, I do really think that this is going to be super functional. And honestly, it's a lot more organized than just the bin system that I had back in the closet. But now let's start putting away the rest of the items in here. And then we can kind of get this configured a bit more for the baby things. I'm going to try storing our gift wrapping supplies oh, under the bed here. You never know they were there. So wow, I swear the energy of this room is starting to feel different now that we've cleared out all of the mess, all the things that didn't belong, and have given ourselves just a clean slate to work with. We've got tons of storage space up here, empty shelves, all of the bins are empty. Just our one little pile of baby supplies here. So now I just want to spend some time moving all of the smaller baby items onto the shelves here. We'll probably move them to the side and then I want to see if we can fit a few of the bigger items like the crib I showed you is just disassembled laying in this room. I'd love to move that in here as well as we have the crib mattress, just a couple larger items. I would love to use this closet as basically like our hub for where we're storing all the baby things till we're ready to use it. So want to just try shifting things around right now, putting things in here so that we can just make this a practical storage space uh, for all the baby things that we're just kind of slowly collecting as we prepare for his arrival in April. Oh, and let's actually take the opportunity to, to put all the postpartum bits I've received in there as well. Right now my goal isn't to do a super detailed inventory and organization that will come, but I think for now I just want to focus on making sure that everything is somewhat organized by kind so that when I'm ready for a more detailed organization, I just generally know where things are. Let me show you how it all came out. So I was actually able to fit everything that I wanted in here, which is so great. We have our crib and crib mattress right here. Then in the shelves, I have postpartum things here. This is actually a mattress protector. And then I have, this is like non-clothing baby items. So I think there's a mobile, a couple toys, books, things like that in there. Then baby clothes are in here. I have a lamp, which I'm likely going to use in the nursery. So just leaving that in there. And then up here we have our bassinet, which I have yet to put together, as well as a Snuggle Me organic infant lounger, which I've heard amazing things about. It was recently on sale at Target, so I decided to pick that up. And then I also have a basket, which again, not positive, but I think that's going to go here in the nursery. And I think that's everything that we have for the baby. So definitely a number of things that we still need to purchase before he arrives, but I've actually got a shower coming up in a couple of weeks. So I think I'm probably gonna wait till after that 
start kind of filling out any gaps and things that we need. But now that this space is kind of cleaned out and organized, I'm feeling a lot more excited, motivated, and also just like able to start work on the nursery, which feels really good. I think we have somebody picking up this mattress this weekend. So once we get that out and then I'm planning on moving our bookshelf to the living room, once we've done that, we'll really be able to get started in earnest. But now, kind of as predicted, I don't have a ton of time available before I have to start getting ready for some evening plans that we have. But I do still think that I want to spend at least a few minutes tackling our bedroom closet. So let's head over there. So in here, of course, I want to do some tidying, some organization, kind of let the space get a little bit messy. The big thing that I want to do, and I've actually already done this once, is to go through my clothing and just try and move what doesn't fit me in this season. As my belly continues to grow and and I just, you know, we, we have some more space going this way these days. There's just a lot of my clothing that either doesn't fit or does not fit in the way that it used to that I want. So because of that, I just want to spend some time going through and taking those items out of my closet. I'm not going to be getting rid of them permanently because hopefully within the next year or so I will fit back into them. But right now it just makes getting dressed hard when I'm having to constantly weed through things that don't fit me to get to the handful of things that do. So I just want to spend some time going through everything, taking out what doesn't fit, and then just organizing what's left over. <music> through and found a lot of things that just aren't fitting in this season so I'm going to put these away with the things I've already set aside and then hopefully revisit them sometime in the next six months to a year. But then other than that the space has come a long ways we have a nice clean surface on the dresser everything is neatly folded in the drawers. So glad we were able to give this space a bit of a reset just to remove some things that aren't serving me in this season. But now I think I'm going to call it for the day. We've already accomplished a lot and I'm beginning to feel a little bit tired. So I want to make sure that I'm just listening to my body, respecting some of its boundaries and give myself a bit of a chance to rest before heading out for the evening. But I really hope that you enjoy just spending some time with me today decluttering, organizing, and just generally getting my home and life together. It's felt honestly so productive and so good. I cannot wait to just continue working on the nursery, getting things ready for baby. Like I was saying earlier, I feel like today was like the pre-nesting and now I can actually start kind of getting my life settled, which is so exciting. But as always, friends, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.